Hello world. In today's tutorial, we are going to build a terminal user interface so that we can chat with a Langraph React agent using the Tavily tool to get a web connection and an OpenAI LLM. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Let's get to the point. In this tutorial, we will cover the following concepts. One, building a Langraph agent. Langraph is an extension of Langchain designed to create highly customizable agents. In Langchain version 0.1, agents were built using Agent Executor. Now in version 0.2, it's recommended to use Langraph instead. Although Agent Executor is still available, it's moving towards deprecating. Two, understanding React agents. Our Langraph agent will be of the React type, which stands for reason and act. This means the agent will go through a cycle of reasoning and acting. If you want to learn more, there's a link to a scientific article in the description below. Basically, the agent will decide whether to use tools or not, and will keep repeating this reason and act process until it finds an answer for the user. Three, connecting an agent to the web with Tavily. Our Langraph agent will connect to the web using Tavily, a search engine optimized for an LLM or RAG. This allows the agent to access real-time data beyond what the LLM the agent is using was originally trained on, enabling it to answer questions based on the latest information available. Now, let's take a look at the code editor. We have two folders, one for the Python example and one for the Node.js example. In Node.js, we'll use package.json to install the dependencies. In Python, we'll use a virtual environment to install the dependencies. This is important because if you watch this tutorial a few months later and install the latest dependency versions, the code might not work. So the code in this tutorial works with dependency versions you can see in the requirements txt file in the Python example or package JSON in the Node.js example. Find the link to my GitHub repository directory in the description below and clone it. After you do this, you should have this file structure without the Node modules folder and my venv folder. Now, we'll install the dependencies in the Python example. Change the directory to this one. Create a virtual environment named my venv with the following command. I will not press enter because I already did this. Now you should see a folder named my venv here. Activate the virtual environment with the following command. As you can see, the virtual environment is activated. Now we can install the dependencies by running the following command. Again, I will not press enter because I already did this. This command looks into the requirements txt file and installs all dependencies with specified versions. Now, we'll install the dependencies in the Node.js example. Here, we'll not use a virtual environment but the package JSON file. The process is simpler than in Python. Change the directory to this one. Now we can install the dependencies by running the following command. I will not press enter because I already did this. This command looks into the package JSON file and installs all dependencies with specified versions. Now you should see a folder named node modules here. There's one important thing. In both cases, we need to create the env file and add two environment variables, the OpenAI API key and the Tavily API key. As you can see, I only have the Tavily API key here because I have the OpenAI API key set in Windows environment variables, so I don't need to add it to the env file. Now, let's take a look at the code. I will only comment on the Python example because the Node.js example follows the same logic but uses the Node.js equivalent code. At the top, we have imports. Then we initialize a few things. We initialize .env to load environment variables. We initialize rich for better output formatting and visualization. We initialize the OpenAI LLM with the API key and the GPT 3.5 Turbo LLM. We initialize Tavily with the max result parameter set to 3. This means that Tavily will return a maximum of 3 search results. The default is 5. Setting this number higher means you'll likely get a better answer from the agent, but you'll also make more Tavily API calls. Next, we create a Langraph agent of the React type. This is a Langraph pre-built agent, meaning we don't have to do anything but use it. We will set two parameters for our Langraph agent. OpenAI LLM for the model parameter and Tavily for the tool parameter. Now, this is the most complex part of the code. We define a function to process chunks from the agent. Why? The agent will return chunks with a lot of information. We want to extract the most useful information. 
If the agent decides to use tools, we extract the tool name and tool query and display an informative message. If the agent decides not to use tools, we just display the agent's answer. The last part is a loop where we loop until the user chooses to quit the chat. The process is as follows. Get the user's question and display it in the terminal. If the user wants to quit the chat, break the loop. If the user doesn't want to quit the chat, pass the user's question to the agent, which will generate chunks that we process with the function we defined above. I would like to emphasize that here we use the stream method. Using the stream method, we get chunks from the agent. Before we run the agent, let's visualize the flow in the case where the agent doesn't use tools versus the case where the agent uses tools. If we ask such a question that the agent doesn't use tools, it will use the OpenAI LLM and give the answer. If we ask such a question that the agent does use tools, it will use tools in a way that we described as the reason and act process at the beginning of the tutorial, as long as it needs them in order to give the answer. When the agent is ready to answer the question, it will stop using tools and give the answer. Now let's run the Python example. First, let's type something generic, something that the agent will not need to use tools to give an answer to. Like, hi, I'm Bob. As you can see, the agent didn't call any tolls and simply greeted us. Second, let's type something very specific, something that the agent will need to use tools to give an answer to. Like, did Slovenia qualify for the top 16 countries in Euro 2024 football? The answer should be yes. As you can see, the agent used tools. Because we only have the Tavoli tool, it can only use this one, and this is the query that the agent passed to Tavoli. Let's quit this chat and run the Node.js example. Again, we will ask two questions. For the second question, the agent should use tools and the answer should be yes. Slovenia did qualify for the top 16 countries in Euro 2024. The GPT 3.5 Turbo LLM was not trained on this data since it's a few days old. Slovenia qualified just a few days ago, yet the agent is able to answer this question with the help of Tavoli. Mind blowing, isn't it? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.